We've been on the hunt for some fun furniture to flip when we stumbled upon this estate sale. Once we got inside, we could see there were just rows and rows of furniture and items, old vintage pieces. Absolutely love this one, but not so much the $700 price tag. We just weren't having very much luck looking for cute furniture. It was mostly old plates, dinnerware, clothes, even some vintage shoes. Then we finally stumbled upon it. It was just hidden. This mid-century dresser was just $40, and it was pretty decent condition. Then we just had to wait in another line to pay for it. <laughs> We finally got it home and ready to work on. It is in good condition, but there are some nicks and scuffs, so we've got a design plan. We'll be using some Amy Howard products. This is Clean Slate. We'll be using it to clean it off before painting. We have two paints we'll be using, the One Step Paint in Barn Board, a nice neutral creamy color, and Cartouche in the One Hour Miracle Paint. Cartouche is more of a light green color. No top coat needed. And even though we don't need a top coat, we do use the tonic. It just revives the wood and it helps protect it. And to add another little artistic touch, we'll be adding this botanical transfer, also from Amy Howard. There was an interesting varnish that was stuck on top, so we started by using a carbide scraper to scrape off the initial layer. Next, we went in with the orbital sander using 120 grit. We did that all over the top and then also went back over it one more time to make it smoother with a 220 grit. The lacquer came off much easier with a carbide scraper on the sides. We took our time and were very thorough to get all the excess off. As you can see here, all of the extra just flaked off at the bottom. Before painting, you always want to clean off and degrease, so we used Clean Slate, which works very quickly. We love a good whitewash, so we are going to whitewash this portion with barn board paint. It's gonna look awesome. And then we are also gonna white, uh, whitewash the drawers as well. Here's a closer look at that barn board in the one step paint, no top coat or primer needed. We are going to whitewash with the um, barn board paint mixed with water. We used about 50, uh, probably like 70% water. Um, we want it pretty watery for the look we're going for. So the whitewash is going to get rid of this, some of the red undertone as well as the blotchiness. Um, and that's exactly what we want. So we are going to get started with that. You gotta have your mister towel ready and your wash. You can paint any way with a whitewash as you will be wiping it off, but we do find that going with the grain does help to remove some blemishes and to make it less streaky. We find the same goes for wiping off. We generally try to stay with the grain. The first time isn't always enough times. It can still be a little bit blotchy, so we actually did two more layers of this. This is the finished result with the whitewashing on the drawers. They look so nice, and it really brings out the wood grain. So 